Hi, Tony. Hi. Today we meet luxury home buyer Tony. Since I am from a small town in southern Missouri, I do like peace and quiet. She's about to trade in her Midwest lifestyle for more of a coastal vibe. Oh, wow. She's about to see three amazing coastal properties in sunny Orange County, California. Hard decision, right? Harder than I thought it would be. Which of these three OC luxury homes will seal the deal? I'm thinking. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, I'm Kelly Edwards. Today we are showing our home buyer Tony three amazing houses in Orange County. I have been living in the past few years in southern Missouri, so I've just decided that maybe I want to buy a home out here. I'm feeling lucky today. I think today is going to be the day that I'm going to find the one. Let's see which one she chooses. One Ford Road was built about 20 years ago. It is the neighborhood to live in in Newport Beach. Guard gated, swimming pools. It's like Disneyland in here. The landscaping is impeccable. We've got putting greens, basketball court, gym, swimming pools, croquet, you name it, you've got it here. It's, it's an incredible place to live. So in this home we have four bedrooms, four bathrooms, just under 3,800 square feet. The street is lined with coral trees. The backyard is perfect. It's all very private. You don't have any homes behind you. It's modern, it's bright, it's beautiful. Tony. Hi. I'm Kelly. Nice to meet you, Kelly. Another person that's escaping the winters. Yes, I'm from southern Missouri. It's really the summers that have driven me out here more than the winters. Kind of brutal. And southern California is absolutely beautiful. It's kind of a perfect day. Oh my gosh. So, it's know. always a perfect day I know. Day that's here. what I hear. I... I've been married for almost 15 years. My husband is back in Missouri. He still works there. And for now, we're sort of going back and forth. So he's there taking care of the dogs and cats and watching the property there. And he trusts my judgment, so he's letting me do the house search out here. It's really important to me to be in an area that's not overly congested mm -hmm. and doesn't feel like a huge city with lots of noise. And coming from a small town in southern Missouri, I'm used to peace and quiet. Coming from Missouri, I am having a little bit of sticker shock. The real estate here is a little more expensive. But, uh, you know, we're, we're working with a budget of about 3.2 million. This house behind us is absolutely gorgeous. Basically, just a minute's drive from the beach. Well, you have everything that you can think of here. Security and privacy is at its utmost here in this community. There are pools here. There are putt-putt golf courses here. You can ride a golf cart around the neighborhood oh, if you chose to. I hear the golf is pretty good out here. Do you golf? Yes, I love to golf. Okay, well, I think we have basically covered all of the bases here. Oh, okay. we'll see. Are you ready to see your first house? I would love to see okay. it. Okay. I can't wait to see what we have to look at today. So you walk in, you've got this beautiful stairway straight ahead. You've got the living room off to the left, beautiful two-story coffered ceilings. Right beyond the living room, you've got the dining room, which opens up to the backyard. Oh, wow. What do you think of your first house? Well, this is beautiful. It's, 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 I love the open, the high ceiling. The, the floors are beautiful, I love it. So this has actually been renovated. So this is one of the few more modern houses, obviously in this neighborhood. As you can see, the white ceilings, uh, coffered, beautiful high ceilings in this foyer. You have the skylights right above us. Beautiful sunken living room right here, the, the formal living area, which I think is absolutely gorgeous with the amazing fireplace, the great detail and everything to it. And then of course you have your formal dining area over there. Now, do you cook? Um, I always say my favorite thing to make is reservations. Well, and can I show you the kitchen and show you where you're gonna put all your takeout boxes? Sure. <laughs> okay, all right, go that way. The kitchen is right off the dining room. It's a beautiful kitchen, white quartz countertops, upgraded, beautiful tile backsplash, open shelves. And then right next to that, you've got the family room. You've got a great place to hang out, relax, watch the game. Oh man, this is beautiful. Really, really oh, wow. gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, it's perfect, it's just, got the space for entertaining. It's, yeah, it's light and bright. 
Great views out the back. It is. Of the beautiful backyard. I love it. For people who like to entertain, I think the kitchen is perfect because it has the big island where you could lay out hors d'oeuvres and things. I do love to entertain and I love having a place to lay all the food out where people can, you know, be snacking as they're talking. Yeah. It's light, it's airy. Right. Well, and it's a, it's a great kitchen for two people to, to cook together. I don't, he can do his thing, I can do mine. He can be cooking on the stove while I'm over chopping vegetables. My husband is a, is a very good cook, so he would love that. The six burner stove, that would be great. Yeah. I really like these lighter cabinets, that's very pretty. It has, you know, all you could ask for in appliances. Already envision having friends and family over and, and everybody hanging out there. Now I also heard that you really want a fantastic master. Yes. All right, yes. well then why don't I show that's you that? That's the second place you spend most of your, of exactly. your time. Exactly, so. come with me then. Yeah. The master suite is incredible. It really spans the entire back of the house. And then you've got this beautiful bathroom and a closet, like a real closet. We're, we're talking a serious walk-in closet. Your master bedroom. It's beautiful. It's just the right size too. It's big enough, but not too big. But you have an office over on this side. Uh -huh here to the left. Wow. So the greatest part is that your master is actually over here to the right, but it's across a small hallway. The bathroom has a little separation so you don't hear the noise of, you know, my husband getting up in the morning before I do. I, it wouldn't wake me up. It's a little bit of privacy. It is, you know, about 10 steps away from the bedroom, which I really, really like. The master suite, I think, is, is pretty ideal. And this is one of four bedrooms, so if you have guests come in from the Midwest, they have a place to stay to, which is really, really nice. But I think I need to show you the fantastic backyard. All right. Okay, come, to, come with me this way. The master suite is what I envision a California home should look like. This is gorgeous. This does I not love this. say Missouri, does no, it? No, <laughs> no, not at all. Uh-uh. No, it's, uh, wow, it's very private. You feel like you're in your little oasis, you know? You even have a, a fire pit. I love that. That would be perfect in these cool evenings out here. If I were to design a backyard for myself, it would look almost exactly like that. <laughs> this is just one house out of three, but how much do you think that this house is worth? Like I said, I'm having such sticker shock from Missouri, but I would think 3.1-ish. This is actually fraction under 3.2, so you are right on the money. It is within your budget. Actually, right on it. It's exactly in the range we're looking for, so that's a nice surprise. There's a lot to like here, that's for sure. Do you want to see house number two? I would love to. All right. We're off to a great start, I can tell you that. It's hard to imagine that a house could be much better than this one, but We'll see. Welcome back. We've seen all three luxury homes today in Orange County. So after seeing all three houses, I didn't think this decision would be as hard as it is. I usually am pretty decisive and I know what I want. The first house, there was so much to like about it, especially the backyard. I love the backyard and I love the kitchen area. The second house, I love the floor plan. I love the fact that it's all on one level. It's very open and the view is amazing. You can see for so far. The third one though, my gosh, it just kind of has everything you could want as far as you know, square footage and a bedroom on the first floor and this beautiful indoor outdoor space. It's time for Tony to make the big decision. Okay, hard decision, right? This really is harder than I thought it would be. Because I truly do feel like all three of these houses are absolutely beautiful. They are. There's something to like about all of them. I really loved the first one, it, you know, especially the backyard. It just felt perfect. Beautiful community, beautiful neighborhood. The second one, then I like the floor plan. I like the one level living. Fantastic views. Mm -hmm. 900 square feet of a back patio, which is Lovely absolutely fantastic. Patio. And then we got to this one and I drove up thinking, oh, yeah, I'm probably gonna go with the first one. And then I walked in and went, oh my God. <laughs> and then I heard the price and I'm like, what? Wow, it feels a lot like the first house I ever bought. The nice woodwork and the traditional architecture, but yet you still have the coastal feels. So I'm really leaning toward 
this one, I think. That this was, house. This house. This is your house. I think so. I, as much as I like the first one, I feel like, and this is so much a better value, it seems like. My husband would be very happy, <laughs> so this would work. This is you. This is you. I love this house. Let me tell you the bang for your buck here. Five bedrooms, five and a half baths, 4,500 square feet, and really it's about $700,000 under your budget. So. And I can think of plenty of ways to spend that. <laughs> okay, uh, as you should. You know, it never hurts to go under budget and have a little more money to put into our nest egg and, you know, save for the future. So what do you say we call the realtor and make it I hurt? think we should hurry because I don't think this is going to be on the market very long. The third house makes the most sense and I absolutely love it. I think you found the perfect house. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kelly Edwards and we hope Tony and her husband enjoy their new Orange County Resort. We'll see you next time.